Time once again to find out uh, what events are coming up as fundraisers that are associated with athletic activity. Uh, the website where you can find all this information out and more uh, is sportingacause.com, sportingacause.com. Willie Hallahan hosts it, and he is with us once a week, and we uh, take a look at some of the items that are going on in our area, and it's another banner couple of weeks, Willie. Uh, it's unbelievable, Marshall. If as if it wasn't busy enough last week, I think it's even busier this week. There's just so there's so much going on. Um, and before I, want, I get into that, I just want to make note. Uh, there's a great article this morning in the Sunday Waterbury yep. Republican American about Steve Blass, who is going to be uh, retiring. I think the end of the month um, from a like a 60 year career in in between uh, playing baseball and broadcasting for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And there are actually two articles uh, written by Steve Barlow. They're, they're great. And uh, uh, people who, who remember Steve or even don't, uh, he's, he was a hometown hero. Uh, no, and um, anyway, it's a great article. Two it articles. Is, it is. And he's, his, final pitch, his, his final broadcast will be on the 28th. And that was his number. That was yeah. his uniform number. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I posted that up on Facebook. Uh, I never, ever, ever forgot about his hometown area. That's never. right. That's right. Great guy. Uh, all right. Well, starting today, just like last week, there are several events going on today that people can go to. Lots of, there, there are a lot of events that have come and gone already as we speak. Uh, no sense in talking about those, but there are things that people can still to, do today if they want. Uh, the uh, Housatonic Heritage Tours continue, and um, there's an opportunity. There, there are three uh, events today at 1 p.m. that people can take advantage of. One is uh, a walk at Balance Rock State Park up in Lanesboro, Mass. Um, there's another one at 1 o'clock, um, a walk and lecture about the Ames Iron Works at the Falls Village Dam. I'd love to be able to go to that one. And another one, also at 1 um a walk at McAllister Wildlife Preserve up in Great Barrington. And um, I, I should throw in that uh, this whole month, uh, the Million Mile continues. That's the Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation effort to raise funds over the whole month of September, and that addresses childhood cancer, a very worthy cause. Uh, but also, again, at 1 o'clock, this is not part of the uh, heritage uh, walks. This is separate. It's the Walk in the Woods for Parkinson's. It's a big walkathon uh, held at the White Memorial um, Conservation Center in uh, Litchfield, and that benefits the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Um, also today, it started uh, early this morning, but there's so many classes it's going to run all day long. Is the Lakeville Open Horse Show? It used to be held in Lakeville, but now it's at the Cool Farm in Millbrook, New York, and that benefits the Lakeville Pony Club. And also today. Uh, there's a barbecue and cornhole tournament at the Couch Pipe of VFW in Canaan. It starts at 11 and, and runs till 6, and it's a combination of a barbecue, there's music, and there's a coal, cornhole tournament, uh, which benefits the McCall Foundation for Behavioral Health. They have a, a special program called Opening Doors for Veterans, which, of course, is of concern to the, the VFW. Um, and, and that's just today. <laughs> um, tomorrow... The John Foley Lone Oak Challenge Annual Golf Tournament will take place at the Agermont Country Club. Uh, that's that's uh, organized by the Lone Oak um, folks up in East Canaan uh, in memory of John Foley, a good friend of mine and a classmate, actually. And that uh, he was a long-term uh, uh, chief of the Canaan Fire Company, and, and the tournament benefits the fire company. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, on Thursday... The 19th, uh, Central, the Salisbury Central School 7th Annual Golf Tournament takes place. This is at Hotchkiss School, uh, and it benefits the 8th grade class trip to Washington, D.C. This is interesting because uh, those of us who have been putting on events for years and years, it gets easier and easier. You, you know the drill. You talk to the same people. Your procedures are the same. But for the, the, the poor folks at Salisbury Central School, the, it's the parents of the 8th graders who put on this tournament. And, of course, every year they're different parents, and they kind of have to reinvent the wheel. But they do a great job every year of organizing it. They have 55 business sponsors for this tournament. Uh, I talk uh, every once in a while about the... Uh, the challenges of uh, the business community and, and what a great job they do sponsoring events. And uh, this is a perfect example. 55 sponsors for this uh, small uh, golf tournament. 
uh, on the same day, the 19th, the Hearts of the Father Outreach 13th Annual Golf Tournament is taking place at Wyantanuk Country Club up in Great Barrington. And that benefits uh, programs for children in both Ghana and Uganda. Um, on the same day, Thursday the 19th, there's a ninth annual Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. Uh, I've spoken about this before. It was the uh, Litchfield, Connecticut version. Well, this is the Massachusetts version. Uh, men uh, put on high heel shoes, walk a mile in them uh, to to show support for women in crisis. And um, the proceeds from this will benefit the Elizabeth Freeman Center up in Pittsfield and Great Barrington. They have uh, several locations. And moving on to next weekend, Saturday the 21st, there's the Falls Village Food and Truck Fest. This was previously known as the Falls Village Truck Pull. Um, you have to be careful when you change your name. You want to make sure you don't confuse people. Uh, this is held over at the Falls Village Rec Center, and it's quite the uh, extravaganza. They have food trucks. They'll have music. And uh, and the, the uh, competition element of this is a, is a truck pull. There are several classes, and... Um, it's, very, it's become very popular. That benefits the Falls Village Fire Department. Um, also Saturday, this is actually a two-day event, Saturday and Sunday, the Goshen Dog Show. It's being held over at the Goshen Fairgrounds in Goshen. And that benefits scholarships for students who are interested in animal care. Uh, on Saturday, the 21st, the Rojan Ramble. This is a seventh annual bike tour. Um, this is a non-competitive tour. It's not a competition and as many of them go, there are six different rides from the e an easy 10, 12 mile up to almost 100 mile. And that uh, starts at the uh, Copake Memorial Park. It spans several towns. And uh, there's no admission fee, but they ask for donations, and it'll benefit the Harlem Valley Rail Trail. They're trying to pave the Copake section of that, uh, and that's where that money goes. Uh, also next Saturday on the 21st, the Monument Cupped. Cup, excuse me, 21st annual soccer tournament uh, at Monument Mountain Regional High School in Great Barrington. This is a three-on-three -three soccer tournament for for kids for uh, ages 14 on down, but several classes. And also on Saturday, the oddly named Run for Your Knives 5K. This is held at the Culinary Institute over in Hyde Park, and uh, it benefits, uh, it provides scholarships for for students at the Culinary Institute. Uh, also, on the 21st, next Saturday, the Salisbury Winter Sports Golf Tournament and Pig Roast, uh, an event that's dear to my heart, at the Undermountain Golf Course over in Copake. And it, uh, it's an 18-hole tournament, and uh, it benefits SWASA's youth programs and our ongoing um, maintenance and upgrade of our facilities. We're doing a lot over there, and it takes a lot of money. Um, and on, also on Saturday, and, and unfortunately, and I'll tell you why in a minute, the Couch Pipe of VFW uh, Golf Tournament. This is held at the Egremont Country Club. It's been going on for years, and they uh, raise money for scholarships for Canaan and Falls Village students. They've raised a lot of money over the years. And the unfortunate part is uh, with all the events that go on, often on the same day, Many times they don't conflict with each other. Like there's an event in Pittsfield uh, that, uh, on the same day that there's one going on in Litchfield, Connecticut, and they don't, you know, there, there's no uh, crossover of possible uh, participants. But uh, the Swasa and the, and the VFW tournaments, there are a lot of people who would have played in both were they on different days. Uh, but that's the way it goes. Um, and on to next Sunday, though these are all Saturday events I've just been telling you about. Uh, Sunday on the 22nd, there's the Walk the Walk for Recovery, um, which is being held at the walkway over the Hudson, and that benefits the Vila Veritas Foundation, which addresses opioid uh, recovery. Uh, again, on Sunday, the Benedictine Health Foundation Bike for Cancer Care and 5K Run, it's both a bike and a run, uh, is being held over at uh, Kingston, New York, uh, to benefit the Health Foundation. Also next Sunday is the Apple Squeeze 5 Mile and 5K. That's being held at Lilac Park in Lenox and benefits the Morris Elementary School PTO. Uh, also next Sunday, the Friends of Mo Golf Tournament is being held at the Agramont Country Club. Mo is a nickname of Maureen Snyder, a very uh, beloved girl who passed away from cancer uh, quite a few years ago now at this point. 
And it's a very, it's one of those golf tournaments that fills up every year. They, they don't have trouble finding uh, participants because everyone's loyal to the tournament and the cause. They always raise money for uh, local people suffering from cancer and to take care of some of their financial needs. Um, also next Sunday is the uh, Norfolk Land Trust 5K and 10K. That's being held at Barbour Woods in Norfolk, and that, of course, benefits the Land Trust. And also next Sunday, the Walk into the Future, uh, which is a rename of a, an event um, that's been run by Construct. It's a it's an organization that addresses housing for for the homeless, and uh, that's a three mile walk that uh, starts at Ski Butternut up in Great Barrington. And also next Sunday is uh, Catch a Ray 5K. Uh, this is uh, a race held at the uh, Red Hook High School and benefits scholarships in honor of Alexandra Ray Gravino. That's the Ray, uh, a, a young lady who passed away from cancer. And if that wasn't enough, Marshall, there's uh, next weekend, uh, I won't even get into them, or the, again, the, Her- the Housatonic Heritage Walks. There'll be about 15 of those over the Saturday and Sunday. And, and uh, you can go to my website. Uh, but what, I'll, what I'll do is just direct you to the HousatonicHeritage.org, where they, they get into great detail about each event. It's a great site. So a uh, second weekend in a row in September where there's 40-some events going on for people to choose from. And I got a feeling it's not going to let up until very soon. <laughs> no, no, it's pretty much for the month of September, and then it'll start to slow down a little bit as it gets cooler. But uh, And it's great. Uh, it's uh, I know it's an embarrassment of riches this time of year for all the things we can do. All right, Willie, we'll check with you next week. Okay, Marshall, thank you as always. Take care. Bye. Willie Hallahan, Sporting a Cause, sportingacause.com, ah, the web.